Hi, my name is Clyde Corey. I'm a board certified urologist who practices urology here in the North Houston area. I've been in practice out here for almost 25 years. I have a general range of practice that I uh, do work on, but uh, I do a lot of study with uh, patients with uh, male erectile dysfunction. And uh, I was here to kind of discuss with you some of the benefits and potential uh, opportunities with, uh, with the high massager. Laboratory stimulation has been approved by the FDA and has been well established uh, with use of, for, for male erectile dysfunction. Um, one of the first devices was the Vibrect, which was approved by the FDA. It develops hertz ranges in this about 75 hertz. Uh, and those comparable settings can be achieved with the high massager. Uh, even higher uh, energy settings than that is, is can generated up to 130 with the high massager. So I think it has a lot of benefit for patients uh, with male erectile dysfunction. I think it's interesting the addition of percussion therapy to the vibratory. Uh, Therapy is probably going to have some de definite benefits for kind of encouraging blood flow, probably stimulating the, uh, the nerve supply to the penis in addition to kind of providing some additional erectile or basically penile sensation. I think couples using the high massager can get definite benefit. Um, both from the male and female perspective. Uh, from the male perspective, uh, vibratory uh, therapy and stimulation has been shown in patients that have either had radical prostate surgery for prostate cancer or other forms of erectile dysfunction to show some benefit. Additionally, uh, the female use concomitantly with them being able to use it for erections should show some definite benefit. I think full body massages have a lot of benefits, uh, not only medically, but uh, psychologically. So I think that uh, it would obviously can be incorporated into people's uh, foreplay and, and their sexual experience. It's going to have some definite benefit. Erectile dysfunction is extremely common uh, in the United States. Uh, about 40% of patients by the time they've reached the age of 50 will have some degree of erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. What percentage of that falls out into psychogenic uh, is hard to determine. There's no great studies, but mm -hmm. my kind of personal estimation would be somewhere on the order of 20 to 30%. Wow. So I think those patients can definitely and studies have shown can benefit from vibratory uh, therapy to okay. can incorporate that into the sexual experience. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's sometimes a disconnect or sometimes not the physical mm -hmm. connection between patients initiating foreplay and kind of getting to the sexual experience mm -hmm. often as you kind of yeah. know from your experiences that uh, patients when it's sort of a perform now get it over with and get it done don't always do that males don't often function well in that kind of setting I think stress is a huge factor in male erectile dysfunction. Um, <clears throat> often I have patients come in and say they, they do fine when they're on vacation or when it's the relaxing weekend at home, but if it's during the week when they're distracted with issues at work or family that sometimes uh, they just can't perform like they should be able to. Um, that's another benefit probably to using the high massager is just that it can kind of give them perhaps that additional stimulation that can overcome some of the psychological stuff they may be experiencing. We 
start to see is some erectile dysfunction in, in that age group. Um, okay. Typically, from the standpoint of you know prostate cancer screening or other male health issues, those start around the age of fifty. Okay. But um, uh, many patients, even in their thirties, begin experiencing some erectile dysfunction, mm -hmm. and this is a nice. Uh, technique that can be used before having to jump into pharmacologic therapy or other measures. Absolutely. Many guys are, even in the with the urologist, very uncomfortable discussing uh, their erectile dysfunction. Okay. And uh, it does sometimes take other, their wives to kind of bring them in and kind of get some of the issues out on the table. So this would kind of give them an opportunity to do something with their wives, possibly, without having to make that call before they make that call or with, make, or, or with that call. Certainly, uh, you know, investing a eye massage before they have to come in for a doctor's visit Recope and all those kind of things. If they can work it out with the high massager, then it saves them a lot of time and effort and me the time and effort to deal with.